Hi guys, welcome into another tactics video here for FC24. I'm Ash, as always, and today here by popular request, we have Mikel Arteta's Arsenal system. I'm going to show you how to replicate it best and most accurately in FC24. So with that being said, roll the intro and let's get stuck into it. So first things first then, we've got the position changes for you. As you can see, there's quite a lot of tweaks that have happened over the course of this system. Uh, we've got this 4-3-3 holding, the general one you want. First thing you want to do is you want to switch both of the fullbacks uh, to wing back, but you also want to make sure that you move them inside a bit in terms of their positioning so that they're as close as you can get to the central midfield in order to replicate their positioning as best as you can. We've got the defensive midfielder here of Rice. Odegaard in this case is a central midfielder and then Havertz has actually been pushed up to central attacking midfield as he often gets into more of those advanced positions and, and really gets into the box as well to support the striker. And then of course you've got the free wingers and attackers striker up front next let's talk about what we've got from a tactical perspective then but first before we do that if you want to see how this tactic ranks and rates compared to all of the other systems and you want to get access to exclusive tactics videos check out my patreon the best way to support the channel you can get all of those fantastic perks on there vid tactics videos that you'll only get on patreon that aren't available on youtube as well as behind the scenes videos discord server access and a whole range of other fantastic perks thank you so much to all of my wonderful patrons for keeping the channel going with that being said in the defensive phase of play we've got pressure on heavy touch and then the t width is on 30 lewis you can have it on balance before it goes to a narrow shape the depth is on 70 giving you a high block and then from an offensive point of view we've got slow build up in terms of the build up play and then the chance creation is on possession the width is all the way down to 10 and that is as a method of making sure that the uh, shape of the inverted fullbacks is as narrow as we can get and then players in the box is up to six finally with both the corners of free kicks both of these are on four and so what about the player instructions then well starting off with david rare in goal he's on comes across his and then sweep a keeper the two center backs you don't need to make any changes to their instructions and then with the two fullbacks starting off with zinchenko who is that out and out inverted fullback his attacking runs are on join the attack and then his run type is on inverted. Now with Ben White or Tommy Asu over on the other side, it's a little bit different, someone who will overlap more. So he's on balanced attacking runs and his run type is also on mixed attack. So you don't actually need to make any changes to that one. Now in terms of the defensive midfielder in Declan Rice, his defensive behavior is cut passing lanes. And then his attacking support is stay back whilst attacking. His interceptions are on normal. And then if we go down here, we've got his defensive position on cover center and his position freedom is actually deep lying playmaker to get him dropping into those pockets of space in order to show for the ball and help you progress it. With Odegaard at centered field, his attacking support is stay back whilst attacking because whilst he will support attacking moves, you don't want him running in beyond the striker. That's not something he does. His support on crosses is on balanced crossing runs that is occasionally get into there and support those uh, crossing situations. Positioning freedom Stick to position and defensive position is cover wing. With Havertz in central attacking midfielder, you've got some differing instructions. He's on comeback on defense in defensive support and he's on getting to the box of the cross. Position freedom is stick to position. Now then, with the three attackers, starting off with Martinelli, as he's on the side of the out and out inverted fullback, he's on stay wide for his chance creation and his support runs are getting behind. His defense support is comeback on defense to get him tracking back and his support on crosses is getting to the box of the cross. Now with Saka on the other side, it's a little bit different as someone who will be on the same side as that fullback who does a little bit of both in terms of Ben White or Tommy Asu. He's still on comeback on defense, but this time his chance creation is cut inside. Support runs are getting behind and support on crosses is getting to the box for the cross. Now finally with Gabriel Jesus up front, his support runs are on drift wide. You'll often find the likes of him and Saka rotating often as he'll come out wide and Saka will drift into that position try creating kind of mismatch options for the opposition his attacking runs are on mix not always looking to run in behind sometimes showing for the ball a little bit deeper uh, and kind of backing into his opponent and in defense support he's on stay forward now with all that being said we are just about ready to round it off there if you have enjoyed this one you found it helpful subscribe to the channel ring the bell to get notifications every time I upload and most importantly check out my patreon lots of fantastic perks and rewards on there, exclusive tactics videos like Arkham Bulldogs Galatasaray on there. We've also got Hirona on there as well, who are having a fabulous season in Liga as of talking, and a whole lot more as well. Discord server access, behind the scenes videos, best way to support the channel. They are what is keeping the channel going, so a massive thank you to them. With that being said, we are just about ready to round it off there. So until the next one, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon.